explain, Dr. Arenas, how a stroke could affect each section of the brain? Yes, so let's start with the frontal lobe. When patients have a stroke, um, remember either a hemorrhagic or ischemic mm -hmm. stroke because of a bleeding or a blood clot. Uh, when it's located in the frontal lobe, usually patients have uh, problems with um, expressing uh, their thoughts. Okay. That's called uh, aphasia. And also there's an affected arm and leg, one side of the body, uh, that is weak and uh, they, it, lo it loses strength. And what about the uh, parietal? So am I saying that correctly? Yeah, parietal so lobe. Parietal lobe. It's more what gives the uh, sensory inputs to the patient. So sensation can be affected. They can feel they can feel numbness mm -hmm. in the arm or the leg. It's more related okay. to that part of, of sensory loss. Now, when a stroke affects um, an individual, does it affect just one part of the brain, or can it affect different areas of the brain? It could affect different areas depending on the cause of the stroke, okay. but most of the time it goes to a specific area. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to go back to the ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke and what the difference is between the two and how you would get each of these. So the ischemic is when you have a blood clot. Okay. So there's poor uh, blood going through the brain. When you have a hemorrhagic stroke, is the bleeding. Uh, there's different causes for those type of strokes. Usually the bleeding stroke is more related to hypertension or high blood pressure mm -hmm. in a patient. And uh, the ischemic or the blood clot is more related to uh, conditions like diabetes, for okay. instance, or patients who have uh, heart problems and they send small uh, blood clots to the brain.